I'm really excited about the next talk uh, because the person that's doing it is awesome, has become one of my favorite people on the planet and can help you not only with marketing and strategy, but can also really help you with your health and your life and, and allow you to feel more vibrant and live longer and all kinds of stuff. So, first off, her name's JJ Virgin. She's impossible to miss. She's not only tall and blonde, uh, she's a celebrity nutrition and fitness expert. Her books are all bestsellers, like The Virgin Diet, Drop Seven Foods, Lose Seven Pounds in Seven Days, and her latest book, okay, which is Sugar, JJ Virgin's Sugar Impact Diet. Drop seven hidden sugars, lose up to 10 pounds in just two weeks. Okay? Uh, she's going to share uh, about how she crowdsourced a seven-figure book deal and made $250,000 to do it. So please give it up for the amazing J.J. Virgin. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. I'll leave this up here. So I love that you've done so much stuff on health, Joe. You're so smart. But when you really think about it, if we don't have our health, we're learning all this cool stuff, and if you don't have the energy and the focus, you, you can't do the $1,000 a day deal that Brendan's talking about. So we have to have our health. And what I saw with the Virgin Diet was the number one question that I got asked was, what about sugar? It seems like people are either controlled by it and they're consumed with their cravings, or they're confused. And they actually think they're not eating sugar. But we now know that we're eating less table sugar than ever, but the average person is getting in 22 teaspoons of sugar a day. That is five ice cream cones. Sneaking in, completely uninvited. 80% of the foods on the shelves in the supermarket contain added sugars. That's before you look at the natural sugars or the carbs in it. And if you look at every major health problem, diabetes, heart disease, that cancer is fed by sugar, Alzheimer's, dementia, they all have sugar at the root of them, which led me to decide that I was going to take on sugar. It's public enemy number one. And to do that, I needed this. I needed a couple things. I needed amazing strategists. One of the things I've always done in my business is just find the best person who's doing what I want to do and go model them exactly and not try to do something better before I did what they did first. I needed an army and I needed cash. I needed marketing money. So I decided to go get a big, big book deal. And for a couple reasons. Number one, when you get a big book deal, the number one thing that you get that is so critical for most of us in the room is a deadline. <laughs> right? Right? So I got a deadline. I got an editorial team to help me make a way better book than I could have done myself. I got distribution and sales force. And this is important, I got marketing money. I did not get marketing help. Anyone here work with a big publisher? Do not expect marketing help. Expect marketing money. That's a very important distinction so you don't get frustrated with this. So I worked with Brendan, as he mentioned, and I got on the list. I've been on the list for 25 weeks. I followed Daniel Amen's advice and did a PBS special, so that helped tremendously. And I decide that I'm going to get this book deal. Brendan got a $2.5 million book deal. I said, I modeled him. I'll go get a $2.5 million book deal, too. I knew sugar was the next big thing. My agent and I cooked up this book proposal all about the marketing and that sugar was the next big thing. But you know what? I had no plan. I had no idea what it was going to be about. I just knew that we knew how to promote it. So, in, in actually, I was thinking about it, it was two days. We started on a Thursday morning, Friday at 5 o'clock. I never talked to anyone. I just got the phone call. It was like, it's 1-2, it's 1-5, it's 1-7, it's 2-2, it's 2-5. And, and no auction, no nothing, just people bidding in, and we took it. Two days. You're supposed to go, wow. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, I was so excited. And then I thought, Shit, I have to write a book. I hate writing. <sighs> but I had Michael Fishman in my back pocket who told me, JJ, just read all the negative reviews on Amazon, which is a brilliant strategy. And you know what's so cool about that is I read all those negative reviews on Amazon, and I had suspicion. 
I had the suspicion that there was no real plan out there to help us get the sugar out. I mean, we all know sugar's bad, right? No new information. But it turns out that we were looking at sugar all wrong. It was an old model. And that people were writing all these reviews going, I've tried this and it doesn't work. Well, it didn't work because these plans were all based on something called the glycemic index, which is just a silly thing that's made us fat and old. Because <laughs> it is. Can I say it? I mean, this. So what happens with the glycemic index is we look at a 50 gram dose of a food, which means potatoes look like carrots. Does this make sense? Not really, right? So I went, all right, well, this is dumb. We're looking at something that doesn't look at how much of a food you're eating, and we're also looking at something that makes fructose look like it's a great food. And fructose is evil. It is Satan. It goes straight to the liver, it tells the body to start making fat, and it bypasses all the satiety singles, signals along the way. So you are making fat, and you are still hungry. Making fat, still hungry. How unfair is that? So anyone putting agave in their coffee thinking they're doing a good thing, stop it. Stop it. It's not working for you. So I created the Virgin Sugar Impact Scales. High, medium, and low sugar impact. And besides the, nutri the uh, fructose and the glycemic load, on the other side, I built in fiber and nutrient density. So I create these scales, and I create a framework, the 4T framework, where first I test to see where all the sneaky sugars are coming into your diet. Because again, for a lot of us, we think we're doing so well, yet we're having the balsamic vinaigrette on the salad, syrup, Then we had the glazed Chilean sea bass. Glazed is code work for shined with sugar. Glazed donuts. Glazed donuts. Get it? Right? <laughs> so all these places were sneaking in. So we do that. Then we look at all the things that happen because you're eating this way. You know, you can't lose weight. You've got gas and bloating. You can't think straight. Then I do a taper where you go from high sugar impact to medium sugar impact, following my sugar impact plate. And then a transition period where you're going to move from being a sugar burner, where you have to eat every couple hours, to a fat burner where you can go four to six hours before you have to eat again, all by dropping your fructose down and reclaiming your sweet tooth. And what's really cool is I believed, based on the science, that I could get rid of someone's sweet tooth in two weeks or less. And so I did this, and at the end, my idea was that you could try this. And foods in the transform period would actually taste gross. They'd taste too sweet. So I had this idea. I created this framework, but I didn't really know if it worked. And for a seven figure book deal, you really should know it works before you publish it. <laughs> so I decided that we should sell it. And we should sell people into the program and let them pay me to try it and make it with me. So I did it at Brendan's High Performance Academy. We brought in 700 people between my list and his list at $197 each. Then we also had them pay for a product kit. So we made over $250,000 and we told them, You're going to help me build this program. And what I did was I used Jeff Walker's seed launch model in the circle of awesomeness that I, you didn't even know I did this. Yes. So I did this, and all I had to do was stay a week ahead. And I'm literally telling Camper, oh my God, each week I was tweaking things and changing things. And, and he's like, it'll be fine, it'll work no matter what. So I'm tweaking and doing and staying a week ahead and doing these QA calls, and we're having it all transcribed. And we have a forum, because there are certain things that I want to put into the book. So what I did was we created a whole gamification model. So all the things that I wanted to add to the book, we created contests. So great swaps from high sugar impact to low sugar impact, recipes, and of course, the all important success story, so that I would have the promise of drop seven hidden sugars, lose up to 10 pounds in just two weeks. And what I found was that it totally worked. And not only did these people lose 10 pounds in two weeks, the average person, I had 700 diehard sugar addicts, they got rid of their sweet tooth. So the book publishes November 4th, right after Halloween. I staged it so everyone would be in a sugar coma, right? <laughs> and here's what's cool. So, you know, I needed, I needed the marketing money, so I got that. I used that to hire my performance coach, Victoria. Are you Victoria? To help me. We worked, Victoria LeBalm and I worked. I spent 100 hours on a PBS script, 100 hours on this thing. So we did that. So I've got my public television special. I'm making some tweaks. I'm following Brendan's model on the launch, and then I have John Walker helping me 
with the launch. We've done some now really cool things, and I have Mike Koenigs is going to do a live stream. So I've put in all of this amazing stuff, been able to do that because again I had the marketing budget. Then I have this incredible army out there of people who are now all in invested. Right? We flew them into PBS. By the way, this was like a really cool strategy. So we needed to have success stories. So the contest. For the success story contest was that if you won, we'd fly you to the PBS taping because I needed the stories at PBS and I needed to get all the testimonials. So that's how we did it. So we have the amazing stories, we have the great army, and here's what's so cool: I have put that all together, shown that the model works, so that I can take on sugar, start this revolution, and take on sugar as public enemy number one, so that people, whether they're controlled by it or they're con they're just confused. Can take back that control from the sugar. It doesn't have to control them anymore. They can get their life back. They can get their health back because then we can all go out and really do the things we were put here to do. Thank you. I joined a year ago. I put an intention out that I wanted to have a much bigger impact in the world. He talks about getting ten times your value over the year, and I'm looking at this and I'm going, "This is not ten times the value. I mean, this right here is at least a million dollars, and this is just the start. So it is just." Crazy. One of my mantras is that a rising tide lifts all boats.